Hi, this is a video about Christmas decoration and I know that my first Christmas video this year has been a bit about decoration as well, so again, but yet different. For instance, much scarier, I should think. There are many ways to decorate a Christmas. I'm obviously a big fan of fairy lights, but aside from that, I've always been a fan of the window decoration. When I was a child we had those translucent paper stars and I liked them quite a lot. But I think I have now found my thing. This is the third year I'm covering my windows with those rather small white paper snowflakes and stars. I'm really in love with this style, so I decided to make them every year. And yes, this is where it gets scary. I really do make them every year. See, they're fixed to the windows with sticky tape and they're so delicate that I can't be bothered to take them down all carefully, so I just rip them off and make them all over again next year. Which might sound insane, but there's more to it. You might be wondering how I have the time to do all this, because for teachers the few weeks before Christmas are nightmarishly busy. I, for instance, do not only need to mark a few French tests, but especially my graduates' class essays. And that is exactly the point. Marking essays in the middle of December has real potential to completely spoil the cozy Christmas time. So I compensate. In practice that means I allow myself to make one paper style snowflake after every finished essay. Sometimes two if the essay was really bad. Paper cutting is something that appeals to my freakishly fiddly nature. Oh god, I just love to fiddle. And I have this kind of competition going on with myself where I try to top myself every year when it comes to delicacy. Now, um, you can actually create those yourself and just cut out whatever you want. But if you run out of ideas, there are a lot of these on the internet. And this year, for example, I found, well, these and especially these, I printed them out, they, they're really great, I love them. Um, I think I made them all. This year I really got into recreating real snowflakes, so for this you just need um, a photograph of a snowflake, you know, on a microscope. Um, I printed these out, sometimes I've just, I just look at them on the internet. And then to recreate them you just need to find where the triangle shape of your, um, of your paper goes. Uh, I, I tried to do this turns out it was really, really difficult. I came up with this, yeah, well, it's close. Close enough, <laughs> close enough. Um, also, this one at the bottom is this snowflake, yeah. And um, also, snowflakes I didn't print out, but just recreated like that from, from images on the internet. Or this one, or this one, yeah. Well, they're real snowflakes. To recreate snowflakes you need a hexagonal form, because snowflakes are hexagonal. you're really impressed and overwhelmed and think, oh god, I, I could never do this. Let me just put a bit more pressure in you by telling you that I actually taught my 12-year-old pupils how to do this. And not just for fun. Um, the sixth graders need to learn how to write procedure descriptions and that's even a test and they get marks on that. So I thought I should start with an example and I made it paper cutting snowflakes because I profited from it to decorate the classroom for Christmas at the same time. What do you think happens when you let 32 pupils paper cut stars and snowflakes to decorate their classroom? The result was... well, this is my school, at least part of it, and guess where is our classroom? Yeah, that one. It's a really small room, it has only these two windows, and they covered the walls as well. I mean, everything inside of the classroom is covered in these things, and I love it! It looks a bit like, like we managed to crossbreed snowmen and clowns, and then took the offspring in the middle of the classroom and fed him so much confetti that in the end he just blew up, like, covering all the walls and, and windows with this paper, snowflakey intestines, the insides, insides I should have said. <laughs> this is a very good comparison. <laughs> yeah, anyways, this is why I am such a paper cutting machine around Christmas. Uh, all the marking I uh, need to do, all the marking. effect 
then you can actually physically see the amount of marking I have because these are in all of my windows. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, whatever gets me through the marking. My next video is going to be something special, a collaboration. The German mm -hmm. Christmas market competition with Chris Fox competing for England and myself for Germany. Am I going to have the advantage of actually being at a German Christmas market in Germany? Or is Chris Fox with the British German Christmas market going to completely overshadow the original? Find out by watching our videos. Bye!